hello guys welcome so now let's just start this project so open up your android studio click here on new flutter project then make sure that flutter is selected click next and here we have to provide our flutter project name remember the name must be in small english alphabet and do not give any extra space for example the name of our this project is let's say clothes app okay so the name must be in small english alphabets and do not give extra space okay as you can see here do not give extra space instead of space you can just write here underscore so it becomes clothes underscore app then here you can see organization com dot here you can write your website or your company name for example let's say I will write here Muhammad Ali okay it is my name and since we are creating this app for the Android and iOS platform so make sure that Android and iOS is selected okay from here and unchecked this web if it is selected by default okay and then click finish So the project has been created successfully as you can see here and here is our project okay make sure that from here this project is selected okay so this is our project which we just created clothes underscore app if you expand this we have lib okay inside the lib we have mendar.dot file where basically this is the starting point of our flutter app by default here is some code but we do not need this default code okay for example this one my home page and the my home page stat just remove this okay also let's remove these comments and the title of this app is clothes app or you can simply say clothes store app whatever title you want to give to it also remove this const my home page now we are going to create a new folder right click on lib new and then the third option directory if you are using mac then in mac it is by the name package okay just click on this third option directory or package and then here we have to provide our folder name which will be by the name users so here you can see then press enter okay and uh, here you can see the users folder has been created inside the lib folder which you can see here then let's create another folder so we will simply click on lib right click on lib then click new and then the third option which is directory if you are using mac then it is called package okay just click on this third option which is directory or package then you have to write the folder name which is new users okay and then press enter so user folder has been created inside the lib folder which you can see here now right click on lib new directory let's create another folder and it will be by the name admins or you can say admin so users folder and admin now inside the users folder we will we will create dot files where basically we will write code for implementing the users feature or you can say the user app while in the admin we will implement the admin portal or the admin panel so first thing first which is basically we will start from the users so inside the users right click on users folder then click new and then click directory we are going to create another folder inside the users now okay and that will be authentication that is for the login and sign up press enter so inside the users folder authentication folder is created successfully then right click on authentication new dot file and let's create our first dot file which will be by the name login underscore screen remember the name must be in small english alphabet and instead of space you can write here underscore okay just like this then press enter so inside the authentication we have our first dot file which is login screen dot dot file then let's import the package material dot dot and this will be a stateful widget we will give it name as 
login screen for now we will do nothing but just we will return here a scaffold widget and just we will display an app bar and in the app bar we will display that is this is the login screen using the text widget so we can say login screen so for now our app will starts from the login screen but of course later in the course when we will implement the complete app then we will add a condition which will check that if the user is already logged in then we will allow the user to go to the main app otherwise if the user is not already logged in then we will send the user to the login screen in order to log in or you can say send the user to the registration screen